Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this afro hair in Blender using geometry nodes. So I want to create a afro hairstyle for this head. For that you should first create the rough shape of the hair where we can place the hair on top of. So to create the hair you can go to add, curve and then add empty hair. Now go into sculpt mode and here you have a few options. You can set the, ra the radius of your brush here and set the amount of hair that the brush is going to add on the count. Let's set the count to maybe 10 and the radius to 100. Now when you start to paint here you can see that, that the hairs are popping up. So this is great. Now you can just go around the head and add hairs wherever you need them. We want to create an afro hairstyle. So you can basically add hairs everywhere. After you've added all the hair you want, you can give it some waviness with the comb brush. This will make the hair a bit more random and not so uniformly growing off the head. I recommend using quite a large brush size so you have a lot of room to work with. So let's make this look like curly, afro-like looking hair. For that, select the hair and go into the modifier properties. Here you can add 5 empty geometry nodes modifiers. I will be using the geometry nodes by Johnny Matthews and the Blender Einer geometry node presets. They have already done all of the geometry nodes we need, so why not use them? And they are free. For the first geometry node, select randomize lengths. Here you can reduce the minimum value to 0.4. For the second geometry nodes modifier, you can use the hair noise. Set the strength to 0.05 the scale to 50 and leave the shape. For the third modifier select delete hair, lower the probability to 0.3. For the fourth modifier select multiply hair control, set the hairs to 8, the spread to 0.05, the frizz to 0.09 and for the last modifier select braid control, lower the B height to 0.05. These are basically all the nodes you will need to create this curly afro hair. So as you can see you are now able to see the hair, but the hair is really thin. So to make the hair thicker you can add a math node and connect it between the map range and the set curve radius node. Set it to multiply and choose a value of 3. Now your hair should be at a nice thickness. But to complete the afro look, we will have to give it a material. Because as you can see here, our entire hair is white. You can go to the material properties and add a new material. Call it hair. In order to work on the material, we will have to add a set material node and select our hair material. In our hair material, delete the principal BSDF shader and add a, a principal hair BSDF shader. Now we can already see quite a nice looking hair. We can leave it at that, play a bit around with the colors and render it out. But I want to create a fairly specific hair. I want to create a hair that begins dark at the roots of the hair and then has white tips. It is supposed to look somewhat like this. So for that add a curve info node. And for the transition we will need a color ramp. In order to make the transition of the hair we can use the intercept in our curve info node. Connect it to the factor of our color ramp and connect the color to the color of our principal hair. So now we are able to control the colors from the roots to the tip of our hair. This is our preview. Now you can just play around. I found that this worked quite well. I've set quite a dark brown color as the underside of the hair, then moved over to a slightly brighter brownish color and then ended up just at the tips with a white orange yellow color. I think this worked quite well, but you can obviously play around and add different colors. The good thing is that we've used the principal hair BSDF shader. So we basically don't have to touch it. You can leave it at that and your results will look quite realistic. So yeah, this is how you can create this curly afro hair in Blender with the new Blender geometry nodes. 
I hope you found this video interesting and helpful and if you decide to use this on one of your own project, I would love to see it. And don't forget to have a nice day.